Over the past 27 years, the Maritime Art Exhibition has been one of Coos Art Museum's most anticipated annual shows. Dozens of artists from around the country and the world participating each year, showcasing their artworks of ships, seascape, marine life, seaports, and often rare collections of historic nautical artifacts. This is an exhibition with something for everyone. To celebrate what would have been our 27th year in producing the exhibition, we would like to share with you how the longest running maritime art exhibition on the West Coast began. It began in 1994 with local artists, Dutch Mostert, Don McMichael, Marie Holbert, Jim Davenport, and Charles of Charleston organized the first exhibition and maritime celebration. Well, uh, the first year, uh, it was just Don and I, and uh, between the two of us, we came up with the idea of, of asking the museum uh, to put on a, a maritime art exhibit, and um, they agreed with the stipulation that we do all the work. <laughs> and so, for the first uh, well, almost 10 years, we we did pretty much everything, including unpacking the paintings when they came in. Uh, uh, the museum, fortunately, was able to take care of all the paperwork, and that's that's a considerable amount of work. Well, we had, uh, uh, Dutch Monster and myself, had seen uh, shows in uh, other parts, mainly on the East Coast, where they emphasize maritime. And so we thought, well, we're maritime, we're right here on the coast, we've got a beautiful museum down here, and uh, we've never seen a maritime exhibit there, so we suggested it to the uh, people at the museum that uh, maybe we could try it. So he and I went together and uh, decided to go ahead with it and uh, along with uh, inviting a lot of local artists to join in, we emphasize it has to be maritime and that way we can call it a maritime museum instead of just an art museum or an art show. Some people strictly think it's the maritime uh, type of things like boats and, and maritime industries. Uh, but um, we have a much broader uh, definition of maritime art and it's just about anything included uh, uh, along the water uh, that has uh, you know, a maritime flavor. Um, you know, um, bridges, lighthouses, you know, anything to do with the water really like ship's wheels and things like that, we thought it would be kind of fun to include those in as part of the decor uh, to kind of give it the spirit of the sea instead of just paintings of ships and boats. Uh, put some things in there that uh, emphasize that, like uh, engine order telegraphs and binnacles and ship's wheels and we even uh, got the Coast Guard to bring us the prism out of Cape Arago Lighthouse one year. Wow. And uh, that was, uh, they would not let us touch it. They brought it down, they set it up, and when it was the show was over, they came and got it. Dutch and I were sitting around and we said, we really need a guest artist. And so we came up with a very short list of John Stobart. Um, he was mostly uh, known for his depiction of uh, U.S. and Canadian ports uh, a couple centuries ago. Um, how they looked a couple centuries ago. They, they were re recently painted. He's still alive. He's one of the most uh, prolific and, and popular marine artists uh, uh, living. And so we, we kind of laughed at, yeah, well, we could, we could try, but the odds of having him come out wouldn't, you know, about a thousand to one. And so, but we thought we'd give it a shot anyway, so we could have a lot of laughs later when we got turned down. And lo and behold, he accepted. And uh, it was <laughs> amazing. And uh, he was not only willing to pay his own way out here, he shipped his artwork out here. And, um, so it was, we were just blown away when he said yes. Because we had nobody <laughs> that we wanted to ask after him. So, um, you know, it was just a, a very, very great, great way to start off this maritime art exhibit. One of the interesting, interesting things, uh, the uh, museum wanted him to show his artwork when he came. So he sent, he sent out, I think, two originals. 
And then they found out that these originals run around uh, 150, $200,000 a piece, thereabouts, give or take a couple thousand here and there. And uh, they about freaked out. <laughs> they had to have security in there and uh, had to take his paintings down at the end of every day, every show, every day, and put it in a vault. And then the next morning when the show was about to open, take it out of the vault and hang it on the wall. It was <laughs> but we drew a lot of people. Uh, he is uh, one of the best maritime artists in the world, as far as I'm concerned. He said, where can we go get a uh, shrimp cocktail? A really good shrimp cocktail. So I took him out to uh, uh, Charleston and we went to a uh, place out there to, and uh, bought ourselves a shrimp cocktail. And they have a little table inside there. And we sat down and we were both eating our shrimp cocktails. And I was, a lot of these people were walking in and out. And I, and I was telling, thinking to myself, these people don't even know how famous this guy is. This is John Stobart. He's uh, world renowned. He was originally from England. And uh, so he had that little English brogue. He he said that was the best shrimp cocktail he's ever had. <laughs> that was that was very simple. I mean, Don and I both revere the man. You know, he's he's just a, really a great artist. Um, and so when we started out the exhibit, there were a couple things that that were our goals. First of all, to create uh, a maritime exhibit that would be part on. Um, on the West Coast at least, um, and also uh, to make the exhibit and the whole um, event uh, real artist friendly. It, from the very beginning it was our point to uh, invite all the artists for the opening of the show and to have a weekend where we could either paint together or do something together and, and you know, get to know each other. Uh, being an artist, as you probably know, it's a very solitary type of thing. Um, so. This is something that uh, what we wanted to to uh, this show to be known for. Um, the other thing, both Don and I did a lot of shows for uh, different places, and and if it's a group show, then then a lot of times the artist is just uh, you know he's only there because his work is there, and it's kind of ignored a lot of times. So we really wanted to to make this a, a real artist friendly show where they get the proper credit. We've always been after the museum to to really you know really appreciate the art artists uh, setting their art so you know plein air painting has become really really popular in in the last what 20 some odd years um and a lot of the artists that came down uh, would bring their paints with them and um so i don't know exactly when we started to officially organize uh doing a paint out one of the advantages of that was um, this, the idea that uh, we could donate those paintings that we did to the uh, museum and they, they would be auctioned off at the opening night uh, reception. Um, so in addition to you know going out and having some fun and getting to know other artists while we're painting, uh, we were also able to help the museum raise funds for the show also. One of the benefits that I have gotten from the show is I've gotten to meet a lot of artists from all over the United States and uh, it for me it's been the highlight for the show just getting to know other artists getting familiar with their work I love to see you know art especially marine art um, so that that's been the the highlight for me and and I'm sure too uh, a big sense also for Don um, it's just been really, really great being involved in this. Uh, and uh, For most of the years, uh, for the first 10 years that we did it, it was the five of us that, uh, that you know, basically took care of uh, uh, most of the things for the exhibit, um, including the jurying and, and all that. Um, and that was, to me, it was a real fun part, is looking at, uh, at new art, um, you know, not necessarily being able to say, yeah, we like that one, let's put that in the show. And that was, I just like to see new art. Mm -hmm. And so that was that was a big highlight for me. Um, like I said, for, that was for the first 10 years that uh, the five of us uh, did the, the exhibit. Um, and then it was time to let go and, and see if it would survive 
or if the, muse if the museum would even try to continue it or not. So we took a chance and uh, the museum decided they wanted to continue it. So uh, they became more and more in charge. We still helped out here and there, but mostly it's the museum now that, uh, that puts on the show. And we have an average of between 20 and 25 uh, exhibiting artists show up. And like I said, they come from all over. They come from the west, from the east coast. Most of them from the west coast, um, from Canada, um, Southern California. And, um, but uh, this has also been very gratifying for us that we have so much interest by the artists themselves to come down here and experience the opening weekend for their show. One of the benefits, I think, was the fact that the show went over so well year after year that it was being noticed by the big boys back east and uh, a lot of the bigger galleries in California and they were amazed not only at the of the type of art that was coming in but all the artifacts that were in, included in the show and so one California wanted to do in, one exactly like the one we had with the artifacts and so on and so forth and so uh, and then to convince the American Society of Marine Artists to sanction this show was a big deal too. So it, you know, it had to have been uh, attended by a lot of the members of the American Society of Marine Artists to even suggest that they would back us. Over time, um, it got to be very well known, and um, Stephen himself has told me so more than once that it's, it's, if not the, it's one of the more popular shows at the art museum. Um, so it's it's just uh, very gratifying for, for me being involved in the, in the very beginning uh, to have it still going on. We This would have been our 27th annual show. Hopefully we'll have a 28th and at least a 29th and 30th and see what happens then.